What I have today is something that I have been extremely excited to show everyone and I have been in awe of for the last couple of days or so while I've been playing with it and learning everything about it. This is a 2003 American Eagle. It packs a 500 horsepower in the back and it rides on the Spartan K2 chassis and has a suite of amenities that put most newer models to shame. But there's one thing that's the most important when you're looking at a used coach. Anyone who has bought an RV and actually went out and used it could answer this question in their sleep. It's the condition of the coach as a whole that is the most important when you're looking for a used coach. Used coaches will have flaws and that's to be expected. But if you want a more comprehensive idea of the condition on a bus, you have to dig further than just the surface. The face of this bus is undoubtedly an eagle. Kind of a legendary name in the first place, but we also have a lot of styling cues that remind us that this is an eagle. Starting with, of course, that front cap. It looks like a bald eagle's head, and I have to say it's one of the most aggressive front caps that I've seen on an eagle. And down below that, we have these solid chrome pieces that are part of a splash of chrome that serve as an important accenting to the exterior. The mirrors, both bumper pieces, and the AccuRide wheels that are on the same level as the chrome cargo handles are altogether a great complement to the paint colors and body style. American Coach generally gets that perfect balance of chrome and metals right, and it's one of the many things that makes this bus stand out. Speaking of things that make this Eagle stand out, the service history of this coach is incredible. In 2015, among other updates, the coach received a new Samsung residential refrigerator, front power shades, and a new LED TV that flips down in the front of the coach. In late 2019, the coach received a new air dryer, which is very important, and it's something that's not talked about a lot, but should be highlighted more. In late 2019, unbelievably, it received a new Cummins Onan quiet diesel generator, a 10 kilowatt. It also received a brand new Freedom 3012 3000 watt inverter. That's of course equipped with an automatic gen start system. Furthermore, in 2019, it received a brand new aqua hot system. 2020 was a light year for this coach. In all reality, the service that it received in 2020 is above average for most RVs on the road. However, for this coach's history, it's a quiet year. In early 2020, it received brand new batteries and it got a new exterior smart TV. It also received a new brake solenoid, the rear airbags were replaced, a new air governor was installed, and the driver air conditioning was serviced. And I can attest, the Dash AC blows ice cold. So as mentioned, the 10,000 watt Onan Quiet Diesel is about a year and a half old. And that generator is on a fully hydraulic slide out tray that gives you extremely good access to the entire face of the coach and that generator. There are a couple flaws to talk about on the face of this coach. Um, invariably, they're going to be flaws. This is an 18 year old coach. For instance, down there around the headlights, we've got a little bit of peeling. There's some small flaws here and there. Now we've got a little chip here. There's three chips in the glass that I've seen. Um, and that's including, there's like one little chip here. There's one little guy there and one over there. Um, no reason to replace the glass, but they are flaws and they exist. Now the headlights have been updated and they are a significant improvement over the original headlight bulbs. All the ambers and docking lights work as well. Around the front windshield and driver and passenger side windows, there are small little mounts for window covers and that includes these side pieces as well. So if you wanted to cover these exterior front pieces, uh, you certainly could. Now let's take a stroll down the side of this coach here. So the driver's side is where we have our two main slide outs and the slide out toppers as well as all the main slide seals are in excellent condition. So this is a side radiator coach and I love the fact that the compartment where the radiators are located have two latches that are super easy to operate that allow you easy access in that compartment. And it's something that people with a lot of experience on the road value a lot. And of course, there are window awnings all around the coach in addition to the windows behind the passenger and driver being tinted. So our 50 amp power cord is on a power reel and it's located right here. So all you do is push this little button and it'll extend, push it to come in. Um, it makes life a lot easier and connecting your coach to shore power much easier. And I had the coach out in a, a bad rainstorm so as you can probably tell, let me adjust my camera real quick. It's raining decently hard. It's not a storm, but it has been raining very consistently 
in Greenville, South Carolina for the last at least 15 hours. So sometimes you would see in a coach leaks, let me turn uh, my ISO up a little bit. You would see leaks coming from these boxes, but there are none. And I've already checked through here, but we're gonna go through it again. So nothing wet, doesn't look like it has had any leaks in this area either. You know, this is how you would check a coach. Like if I was looking to buy this bus, I would wanna see, is it going to leak when it rains? It's a good question. Another common area for leaks is around the air conditioners. So an American coach is pretty easy to see if they've had leaks because all of this material here is this Alcantara on the accenting pieces, so you'd see it. And there are none coming from this air conditioner or the front one. You know, nothing damp, nothing like that. You know, leaks can sometimes happen. It's you know, I, I've seen Prevo buses leak. Everything leaks at some point and you can avoid it for the most part, but sometimes leaks do occur. Um, we had a leak on our Eagle a couple years back, but this coach is not showing any signs of leaking. Um, and it's been sitting out here in the rain with the slides open for a good while. Like I said, this is a good test. And again, you see it around these, the exhaust fans, another common place to find leaks. I'm actually running this fan right now because I can, even though it's raining outside. Those vent covers come in handy. Basically, anywhere you're gonna have caulking, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna be susceptible to the caulking failing and breaking and letting in water. Um, another common area, the shower. Showers are common areas, and this is showing none. So no leaks from this vent either. Looks all clean. Doesn't look like it's had any leaks in the past. Doesn't smell like it either. All of this looks great. Looks superb. And this would be an area where you'd see ripples in this. This is like a, like a little bit of the seam where these pieces meet is coming up. But you would see if there was any significant bad leaks here, you would see all this wallpaper would be kind of wavy, potentially soft. None of that. This is all solid, super flat. And another place that's common is under these windows. Um, nothing, perfectly straight. And again, that's why we don't see so much delam, right? Because imagine if you have leaks, um, a lot of those, those delamination problems can originate from up here if it seeps down into your sidewall. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. So this is a 500 horsepower, 10.9 liter Cummins ISM that produces 1,550 foot-pound of torque. And that's enough torque to make most diesel dually trucks put their tail between their legs and run away. Now this has a dual stage exhaust brake as well, and it can tow 10,000 pounds. Now this is an upgraded hitch down here that's set up perfectly to have a motorcycle rack or a number of items hitched to the back. Now the styling of the rear is pretty classic American coach as well with this really neat lip right here that I've never really seen before. And then you've got Hella light. So all of the lenses on this coach are made by Hella. So as mentioned, this is the Spartan K2 chassis, which is a legendary chassis from Spartan that is used by American coach and other top notch buses for a long time after 2003. So most manufacturers take a chassis and then they build on top of that their own subframing and network of framing up above to hold together the body. And this coach has tubular steel framing used for the ceiling and for all the sidewall. So it's a high strength metal and a high strength setup. And this coach, even though I've pointed out some DLAM, it does have a couple minor spots of DLAM here and there. And there's some on the front of this coach on both sides. And this rear sidewall right here is where you'd see a lot of delamination on a lot of American Eagles behind 2008, especially an 03 model. Almost every Eagle that I've seen, if you come down this wall, there are no slides here, so it's very easy to spot DLAM, and there's just all this waviness going on. And unfortunately, it's kind of common on these coaches, but this bus, this bus is well above average as far as DLAM goes. There are some spots, but it's mostly in extremely good condition. Actually, when I was playing with the coach yesterday, I was washing it, and I had to send a quick video to my dad because I was just so impressed about the lack of DLAM on this coach. I had to share it with someone. And the lack of DLAM on this coach. I mean, come on. 
if, if I showed you this right here, would you say, man, you know, that sidewall, it looks like an 03 Eagle. No, you wouldn't because most of these freaking things have DLAM all down this side, man, you know. So being that there are no slides on the passenger side of this bus, you get to enjoy a lot more space under this massive flat Girard awning. And this Girard is equipped with a wind sensor as well. And the full body paint is continued on the box of this Girard in order to not interrupt the paint scheme. There's something to be said about having a reliable manual entrance awning. Speaking of which, the Girard actually has the ability to be rolled up manually with the same rod that you use for the entrance awning. The entertainment bay has a new smart TV that's on a slide out tray and the bay is covered by your Girard awning. So all of your important filters are located in one centralized spot, not only making it much easier to service, but allowing you to see these important components at a glance. And right next door, we have our coach batteries that were replaced in 2020. These are on a slide out tray, making them much easier to change out. The first compartment in front of the dually is where you'll find some hydraulic components. And this is actually in a pretty accessible spot. So if you need to do a service on this, change a seal, it's very easy to get to. I also like the fact that there's a pan underneath it just in case you get a minor leak, it's not gonna get on the carpet. There are a good amount of power outlets out in the exterior bays, which can be very useful. And the one in this particular bay actually has a place where you can run a cord out of the coach, which could be extremely convenient. And in the same space, we have our 3000 watt upgraded Freedom 3012 inverter. Now we have two slide out trays here, both carpeted. One is full pass through that goes out on both sides of the coach, whereas the other one goes about 60% of the way through the bus. All of the bays are lined in this heavy duty textured fiberglass material that's super easy to keep clean. I also like how the holding tanks have been mounted in between the main chassis rails. There's also an aqua hot heat exchanger in the bays. So all of these bays down here will stay relatively warm when you're running your aqua hot system. The first compartment on the driver's side houses gen slide hydraulics and the button to operate the generator slide. We also have a couple other things, including an air service line, which you can use to fill tires and can be extremely useful in a lot of situations. The propane tank looks brand new and it's enclosed in its own compartment, so it's not exposed to the elements. We also have our pass through storage compartment. And next to that, we have our aqua hot unit that was replaced about a year and a half ago. This unit runs excellently and has that classic butter smooth aqua hot sound. In the top left corner of the plumbing bay, we have two outlets, one of which is being used for a thermostatically controlled electric heater. We also have an outside shower and tank level indicators. Conveniently, there's a button for all the cargo lights, so we can connect to city water pressure quite easily right here. And we have the Sani flush, not only for your black tank, but for your gray tank as well, which is super convenient. All of these valves are super well laid out and it's nice to have a diagram showing you what is going on behind the scenes. There's also a soap dispenser and a paper towel rack, which is pretty convenient to have out here. And a gravity fill on a high level coach? Why newer buses don't have gravity fills, I don't know, but this bus does have it. So the salon area is extremely comfortable. First of all, it's lined with ivory colored Villa seating. Villa is made in the USA and it's a top-notch manufacturer. They're used in yachts, Newell uses them, and some Prevo converters use Villa furniture. And for good reason, because they're extremely high quality. If you walk into an older American coach, the likelihood that you're gonna see peeling and flaking is very low. Now these both jackknife, of course, and on this one, we've actually got vents for our Zone 1 Aqua Hot. So the accent lighting is excellent. And it's perfect for at night if you want just a little bit of light, but you don't want it to be super bright. It's great for those kind of applications. And it looks fantastic. Now these, of course, swivel, and those are made by Villa as well. And they're not in perfect condition, but there's nothing, there's no rips or anything like that. 
And uh, let me show you the back of this one. So look at this little piece they have. It's like a brass piece where you undo it and the whole thing comes out and it just looks so nice. It feels well built. And it's one of those things that they didn't have to do this. They didn't have to finish this piece. And it's one of many details in here that just take the interior to the next level. One other thing about these pilot and co-pilot chairs is they are heated and they have electric lumbar. And this one is actually a recliner. So you can use this chair as a recliner even when you're parked um, or of course while you're going down the road, which makes it one of the best seats in the house on the highway. Now, this is a small factor and probably pretty irrelevant. Um, but it's again one of those things you wouldn't really notice until you're actually using the coach They put the levers or the releases for the swivel action on both of these chairs on the side That's easy to get to so for this chair. It's on this side of the chair So when it's in the forward position, it's easy to get to it You don't have to sit down and reach reach around to swivel the chair and this is again small detail probably pretty irrelevant until you actually use the coach, but it's things like that that are well thought out that put American Eagles higher on my list than most other buses. So most times I don't want the TV in my way, and when you walk up here, it feels much less cluttered, it's simple, it's very fresh, and this was more of a common thing back in the day, but nowadays with these TV screens everywhere, um, and tablets everywhere. I just like to have a classic front piece here that has beautiful woodwork, but it can also display a great TV. So this has a new updated smart TV up front with a sound bar, flips down, so it's totally hidden when it's put up, and it also allows you to have a larger TV than you normally would in that space. One other detail that you're going to notice as we walk through this bus are the number of outlets it has. There are outlets everywhere, and this is something I have loved about American Coach for a long time. We've got an outlet there, an outlet there, an outlet there, and many more to come throughout the bus. And I love how this outlet is actually, most of them, you know, they all look pretty flush, but this one actually has like a little wood framing piece to make it look complete and go with the trim work around the slide out. I love that little detail. So the woodwork up here is also pretty fantastic. You've got this gorgeous line of cabinets down both sides of the coach. And you'll notice all of these pieces are solid wood. So when you touch these pieces around the cabinets, they're all solid wood. And the way these doors open and shut, I love these type of latches. These type of hinges are very high quality and it's just so satisfying to operate it every time you go to open a cabinet door. So obviously the woodwork is superb and it's done in sort of a classic bus manner where it's absolutely gorgeous to look at. It's, no, where you can really tell, no, where you can tell a lot of time was spent crafting and building everything and a lot of money was spent putting high quality materials in the coach, but they didn't have anything to prove. It takes more than a matter of 30 minutes to enjoy all the woodwork in here. There are details in places you wouldn't expect. And one of my favorite places is in the bathroom. There's gorgeous woodwork all around the toilet and on top of that woodwork, we have Corian countertops around the toilet. I love how the entryway lower side paneling and cockpit side paneling is all made out of solid wood. So in the kitchen and bathroom area, we have a porcelain tile flooring that looks awesome. It's something American Coach is known for. They've used porcelain tile in a lot of their coaches, and it just gives you that beautiful little shine that looks fantastic and in this kind of ivory color, it delightfully offsets the walnut woodwork. Now to the left, we have our dining table and this is all finished out in a Corian, of course. And I love this little detail here. Instead of letting this Corian piece, because this piece extends and there's a leaf and two fold out chairs so you can comfortably sit four, seat four people here. I like the fact that they put this little Corian piece so when this table slides in and out, it bangs up against this quarry instead of the wood, and it looks really cool as well. Now we've got outlets, again, everywhere. So we've got outlets down there. So if you're gonna plug in a laptop, you're gonna work here, you've got an outlet for your computer. Now up above, we have sort of what looks to be a wine rack. You could really call that a display case. And there's actually a little slot right here. So you could put a paper towel rack or anything else that requires a slot in this area 
and have great access to it. And in fact, having the paper towels here would be pretty perfect because if you're eating down here, you just reach up and there's a paper towel. So I like this little display cabinet. Before we move on from it, I want to point out that this piece right here, you can just move it out of the way. This is all felt, or it's all carpeted, nice woodwork, and the beautiful headliner continues up in there. And look, there's four outlets in here. So you could set this up with some sort of electronic, even a TV, if you wanted a TV in your kitchen area, you could easily set one up here if you wanted to. Just having a lot of outlets is something that's so important and it's one of those details that I always harp upon um, because it's something that bothers the heck out of me when I'm in a coach and I'm trying to plug in my laptop, my phone, and I can't find an outlet anywhere, it makes me very angry. Now, there's still storage back behind here and all of this beautiful wood just looks excellent and again, the whole coach is finished out to a point beyond most other buses, even buses much newer than this coach. Now right here is one of the crown jewels of this galley space. This is a Samsung household refrigerator. And it does lock into place. They have, they have installed these heavy duty locks so there's no extra action needed. You just close it and it's locked in place. But as you can see, much bigger than your standard refrigerator you'd get in this coach. There's a drawer for your freezer, and it does have an ice maker that works excellently. I've already had to make a bunch of ice, and when I turned the coach off, I had to throw out all the ice so it wouldn't make, you know, give me a pond in here. So I know that works fantastic, and that's something that's a huge upgrade over the original refrigerators. They can make ice, just not at the same rate as a household. Now this space right here, so right here, there's a pocket door before you get into your bathroom space and this is sort of your main pantry area if you will so we've got a lot of storage around here all of these drawers are super deep real solid wood and uh high high quality rollers as well these feel really easy and they lock into place and what's kind of cool is they've mounted the locking mechanism that little plastic piece that we saw on the refrigerator on the bottom um and so it's still easy to change if you need to change one out, it's just on the bottom, but what that means is you don't see it. You don't see a little latch or it doesn't get in your way either because a lot of them will put it right here. That's another minor detail that we see this coach has. And again, these are things that add up, you know, it'll make you want this coach over a newer bus because everything is so well thought out beyond the degree of most coaches. Now here we've got another huge pantry space. These look to be added later, but they're pretty solid, so you could use this as a little spice rack. There's a light in here. All of these are adjustable, so you can move them up and down. This one is not adjustable. That's a solid piece of wood, all carpeted, but these two pieces are adjustable. And then we've got more super deep drawers down here, and I love this. Check that out. It's a mini pantry, slides out, um, all solid real wood, so it looks nice when you pull it out. And that's pretty big, too. Now this, you know, I've seen Monaco call this a hutch space. I really don't know what to call this, but it sort of acts as an extension to your kitchen space. So this is all finished in Corian with the same little Corian lip, just in case you spill something. So you could easily use this as part of your cooking space. It's also very well lit and there's just a dash of mirroring in this coach. And these legacy American coaches have fantastic mirrors. They've always put a perfect splash in, not too much, but just enough to, where, to the point where it makes the coach feel bigger, more bright, but you don't really notice the mirrors that much. Now right here, this kind of curves, and I like how that looks. We've got a dual stainless sink here, and that's a filtered water. So there's a filter right underneath, so you can quickly and easily change it out, and you can serve yourself filtered water. There's also a central vac down below, and see in that back right corner, that's where you can see your water filter. Now, I absolutely love the fact that this piece just comes out. All it does is you just literally just grab it and pull it out, and you have access to all your pipes and plumbing for all of this back here. The reason I'm pointing that out is because we had a similar year Tiffin Zephyr, and we had a plumbing leak coming from the sink which was not fun. So our tech had to go in through the side. He had to take this drawer out. We had to get the slide about halfway. It was, you know, it wasn't horrible. It was, it got done. Our tech is very experienced, but it wasn't fun. This piece, you pull it out, you have access to everything. Now over here, we've got a convection microwave oven, of course. So this is a microwave oven slash convection oven. 
So you can easily bake something in there if you want. I've heard of people baking in these very easily. I personally haven't done it, but I'm sure you could. Now we've got a three burner high output gas stove with Corian pieces. So these pieces just mount in. And I like, look at that, that is a super snug piece, which means the rattling is gonna be very much reduced from these two pieces. These pieces are just stuck on there. And to be honest with you all, when I first walked in this coach, yeah, I, again, I wasn't surprised. I didn't really have feelings about the backsplash. I, I kind of felt, eh, you know, I don't know about that. It's a little weird. We had an eagle that had sort of a similar gold pattern back there. Um, but now that I've seen it, it kind of grows on me because it's completely different from the rest of the interior, yet it does retain a lot of colors that we see in the interior, especially from the accent lighting, which I think it's a good looking piece, but you could change it out if you wanted to. It's not the most difficult thing in the world to do a cool backsplash. Oh, and let's point out a couple more things about the cabinetry here. Check this out. I didn't even notice. I honestly thought these were fake pieces. I didn't pay them much mind. And then I was playing around here and I opened it and I was like, oh my gosh, there's actually a solid wood spice cabinet, two of them. Most coaches have these fake little stupid craps around this oven area. Oh, and that's right. I said oven area. There's an actual oven in here as well as the microwave oven. So if you really wanted to use it, use an oven and said, you know what? I'm not gonna go with the convection oven. There's a legit oven. And that's something I almost guarantee you, you'll won't, you won't see on most newer coaches. And I can't believe they put another storage compartment down here. Like where are they finding this space? This is so snug. But yeah, there's more storage down there. And of course, many drawers and this little piece comes out and uh, yeah, a little extra countertop space. I wouldn't put it that far out because then it's unlevel. Um, you could use this as a cutting board. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it's been used as a cutting board. I wouldn't use it as a cutting board because this is a nice piece of polished Corian. So it's a little extra space. And I would imagine using this in times when you want to put some snacks out. So you have some extra snacks around here. I don't know. It's there. It's probably more useful when you're cooking. Um, so you have a little more space if you need it. So this is a classic American Eagle center bathroom and it's very spacious and has a lot of natural light. And that is solely due to the massive skylight that the shower has. The reason it's so massive is because it has to cover a massive shower because this thing is huge. If you walk in here, there's a lot of space. And of course I'm comparing to other RVs, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not saying this is huge compared to your home shower, but for an RV, this is massive. I mean, look, I've said massive like four or five times, haven't I? I'm driving myself crazy with my vocabulary usage today, but no, this is pretty huge. I've got plenty of space to move around. Um, I like, I'm having to hold this door, so thank you. And I love this shower, and I love this shower sprayer because you can set it anywhere you like. It looks really modern as well. You can change the stream that it sends you. And this is a beautiful little Corian piece that's there's a little piece of Corian that goes around too. So if you have your bottles in here, they're not gonna fly out while going down the road. And I love the fact that it's made out of Corian. It just feels so nice. This is all tempered glass, by the way. There is a seat and a lot of headroom. And I love this little wood trim piece that goes around. It just feels nice when you're in here. There's also two lights just outside the shower in case you're showering at night and you don't have this incredible skylight giving you plenty of natural light. Now I actually, you know, Kai and I actually stayed in this coach for a couple of days and that's a huge thing I noticed. You know, I'd come out in the morning and there was just this incredible amount of amazing light. It was so uplifting to walk, to be able to, to be able to wake up in a coach that has that kind of natural light. There's nothing like sunlight. Now here we have a gorgeous Corian sink. Nice vanity here. You can get multiple angles of yourself. I love this, this styled piece up here for the vanity lights. And they disperse a lot of light around here while not blinding you by having direct bulbs just sitting there. And so there's a lot of cabinet space back behind here and down below. It's all carpeted. It looks fantastic. It does not look cheap at all. There's also floor lights in here. So there's a perfect amount of floor lights. There's one over there. There's one right here. Sort of lighting your path to the bathroom space. And the bathroom space is awesome. This is a solid wood door here. There's a wood handle so you can help yourself get up. There's also a dedicated Corian sink, and you guessed it, there's outlets in here too. And I love how the Corian is finished all around the toilet, and there's a good amount of space here. I mean, there's, there's, there's plenty 
of legroom. I mean, this is a very spacious bathroom. I love the fact that you have a sink in here too because personally, when I'm done, I just want to get up and wash my hands. I'm not trying to touch the door handle and then go find, you know, it's just nice to have a whole bathroom as one piece in here. And the Corian, when you're sitting here, it just feels so nice. I love this little stainless piece too. There's a window so you can look outside and enjoy your view. Um, there's also a dedicated electric fantastic fan in here. Um, and of course, a vanity cabinet space back behind it. But anyways, yeah, gorgeous toilet. This is a porcelain toilet, by the way, and just beautifully finished out. Now let's take a step into our bedroom area and right here we have a double pocket door so you can shut off the bedroom from the rest of the coach and your bathroom. And as you step back here, you'll notice we also have updated floors down here, LVP plank floors, waterproof, much better than the original carpet. Now we've got a lot of light. There are individual reading lights for both sides of the bed and there's a lot of light in here in general. And I love the fact that these accent pieces have been finished out. They look beautiful with this Alcantara and leather pieces. The ceiling pieces are absolutely gorgeous. It's not only in the bedroom. The air conditioner intakes, all the ceiling pieces are made out of wood, Alcantara, and the entire ceiling of the coach looks extremely high quality. And this huge piece of Corian on the other side with, what is that? That's, uh, that's eight drawers right there. Eight drawers that have a good bit of depth to them. So you can store a lot of stuff in here. There's also a good bit of storage back here. And look at that, all the original manuals, everything is in here. We even have history of the previous owners, um, pictures of the bus from years ago. So a lot of cool stuff is in this stack of paperwork and booklets. Now right here is our wardrobe space. And this is cedar line. We've got a safe up in the left spot. And yes, it is cedar. And it looks gorgeous as well. I love opening up a wardrobe and seeing the cedar. There's lights back here just for the wardrobe, a thick carpet down on the bottom. And it opens from both sides, so you can easily get to whatever you need to. Now we have our two fold-out chairs in here as well. And you've got one rack up top and you can mount another one over in that corner going this way. So a lot of wardrobe space here. Now both sides of the bed here have Corian finished countertops, drawer space on the top and bottom, and outlets. And think about it, this coach was built in 03. I mean, really there's not much reason to put outlets here unless you're trying to accommodate for people having a CPAC machine. And that is very convenient if you do have one of those machines, but they couldn't have imagined how many times, I mean, in 2003, I was like four years old, but from what I hear, phones used to last like three or four days before you had to charge them up, um, depending on how many calls you're getting, of course. So now we have to charge our phones basically every night, and it's nice to have outlets right by your headboard. I think that's gonna be all of what I'm covering on this interior. There's a lot more details in here than I can possibly pack into one video. This is an extremely well-finished coach. But we're going to go drive the thing and also take a peek at all of the controls for the coach and chassis side of the bus. So on the bottom left, we have our thermostat, which will control our heat pumps, air conditioners, which are basically the same thing, and our three zone aqua hot furnace heat. We also have our TV lift control, our power management system, which will show us our draws and what's going on with our electrical system. And we also have our Xantrex inverter control which you can use to turn on the inverter, of course, mess with settings, change the AGS preferences, and do all things inverter. Below that, we have our sea level tank indicator, which will show us all of our tank levels and propane tank levels. And on the bottom right, of course, we have our slide out control, and both the slide out controls have keys. So if you wanna take the keys and put them up so no one can bring the slides in or out, you certainly can do that. So the cockpit is extremely comfortable, partially thanks to these villa chairs that are both heated and have electric lumbar and feel like you're sitting in a recliner going down the road. The switches are all laid out very well with the exhaust brake being at your fingertips just to the left of the steering wheel. And I absolutely love this steering wheel. And I have to say this front end is so tight and the coach drives so well, it's fitting to have this kind of steering wheel. The center console is very useful as well. There's a little table that pulls out so you can set food or whatever you'd like there. And the co-pilot's chair has a recliner and multiple vents pointing straight at the seat. That can, of course, be adjusted in order to not blow in that direction. And without further ado, I think it's time to get this thing out of the road 
and try to not get a speeding ticket. All right, we're getting on the highway. And I have to say, when you're driving this coach around town and you take off from a red light, it feels like you're riding just a wave of torque and power. Every time you hit a new gear, you can just feel that boost building back up and just shoving you forward. It's a, it's a fantastic feeling having a lot of torque and power. Now on the highway, it's an excellent driver. This coach actually has Bilstein shocks that were installed later on after it was purchased and got new airbags in the back. And the coach drives excellently. We're at five right now. And uh, it's just absolutely butter smooth. It feels like it wants to take off. And uh, I can't help myself. I'm in an American Eagle with a 500 horsepower. So, oh yeah, it feels excellent. Um, plenty of power. And the chassis is so solid on this coach. You know, there's a lot of feel. I can feel where the bus is. There's chassis rigidity, so I'm not shimmying about and being thrown around. In fact, I am making a. In fact, I am making the road mine. This coach just feels like it wants to eat up miles. And I remember in our 07 Eagle, I had a trailer behind us, and I was just tearing it up. This one trip, we we're going to a golf tournament on the beach, and I was just flying. Um, and it was so much fun in that coach. And this thing feels like it just eat up the road. The K2 chassis just, it feels so planted. It feels like when you move faster in it, it's more planted to the ground instead of most coaches it's the other way around. This thing feels like it wants to go. The power is excellent. It's just a thrill to drive. I also absolutely love this steering wheel. Whenever you're in town, you're throwing it around. You just, I just love feeling that, that same thickness, leather and wood, steering wheel it just feels so nice um, yeah this is a great driving bus right here a great driving bus it just it makes driving fun and it's got a dual stage exhaust brake as well so you let that thing take off it will significantly slow you down and it's a pretty and it's a pretty strong exhaust brake as you can see I am on the brakes a little bit because I was going uh, probably faster than I should have been coming into this exit but that's okay because this thing has disc brakes up front actually which is what you want it does better with heat you know drums hold a lot of heat and uh the brakes are superb but the exhaust brake is so strong you can actually start playing it where you almost barely have to use your brakes when you're driving the thing yeah it's an excellent driving bus and being side radiated it's much better set up if you need to if you need to make a repair back there you need to do something yourself and it's better for cooling, especially if you plan on towing. And this 500, the transmission feels so good too. Oh yes. And you can hear it a little bit back there. It's pretty quiet up here, as you can tell. There's a couple little rattles here and there, um, but above average as far as rattles go in a coach, especially this age, because age is what increases rattles typically, unless someone's been really paying attention to them. And but yeah, the coach drives excellently um there's not much else to say the front end feels tight it doesn't feel like all my control arms are shot the bushings feel good there's no play in this thing it just feels and the power the power is awesome it literally it feels like a wave is just shoving me forward in this coach and it's a great feeling but the cake and, and honestly i'm not really surprised when i drove this coach I was expecting it to be a great driving bus because I knew it had the K2, it had the 500, and I have a lot of experience with 500 horsepower and K2 chassis. That's for sure. Actually, the 05 bus we had had a cat, and then we had an 07 that had the 500 ISM, the same coach, this, the same engine that this has. And uh, yeah, the K2 chassis is just it's kind of legendary. It's a legendary chassis. It, and, and it's such a good chassis. You see it in buses for years to come after this 03 model. And I would be willing to go to bat that this chassis is better than most newer, than most new 42 foot coaches. It just, it's just tight. You know, Spartans, they ride very tight. And uh, the K2 was a premier Spartan chassis at the time and was for years after. But yeah, excellent driving bus. You know, it's, uh, it's hard to explain exactly what I'm feeling, but I'm trying my best to. The transmission is silky smooth. 
I suspect it's a 4,000 Allison. To be honest with you guys, I didn't research into that, but I'm 99% sure it's a 4,000 just by the way it drives and the fact that you really don't see 500 Cummins with 3,000 with 3, level Allisons. Um, you'll see 400 Cummins and 450 Cummins all day long with the, uh, with the 3,000, but the 500s almost always get the 4,000. And this one definitely feels like it. The 4,000 is just a heavier duty transmission and it's it's smoother for some reason it shifts smoother I, I don't know why I, I found that but it is true yeah cruise control works by the way I've tested it before I forgot to see we're right there I set it at 40 miles an hour I can you can also set your fast idle through the cruise control on this coach and I apologize for the roads because these roads are atrocious and you'll hear a lot of vibrations but the coach is a thrill to drive to summarize a little bit there's an incredible amount of power. Most 42 footers do not have 500 Cummins. The chassis is solid. It feels like it's, it feels planted on the road. The sway was non-existent and I doubt you'd get any play in the steering wheel. You know, you'd, and I doubt you'd get any type of fight in this chassis unless you had some heavy crosswinds. And it feels solid and just set in the road. There's not much that can make this coach sway. As you saw, I flew past an 18 wheeler on the road no effect at all i felt planted in the i felt planted down in the concrete really the only thing i ever saw make our eagle sway was crosswinds and that was very rare very rare and that will make any bus even a prevo bus sway nothing you can do about it you're a 13 foot wall or almost 13 foot wall going down the road heavy crosswinds are going to affect you at any level of coach so that's really the only thing that's going to make this sway and that is a rare occasion Otherwise, you're going to be flying down the road, eating miles up, having an absolute blast of a time while your family is relaxing and hanging out in this gorgeous cabin. That is what you call the best of both worlds. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any more questions in reference to this 2003 American Eagle 42E, you can shoot me a text or give me a call at this number below. I'll also include my dad's phone number right below that, just in case I'm not able to pick up the phone. Hope to see you all next time.